Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Insight on Things You Should Know. I'm John Gray, and I'm the host of the show, and it's election time, and what we do this time of year is we bring all of our candidates in that we can, and having a talk with them to where you can find out uh, who you like and a hopefully make a decision about who you want to vote for. The election is August the 6th. Early voting starts July the 17th, goes through August the 1st. In Tullahoma, it is at CD Stamps, Monday through Friday from 9 o'clock to 4.30. In Manchester, it is at the, uh, the uh, business center or the administration center on Highway 55, Monday through Friday from 8 o'clock till 4.30. And if you want to write in vote or find out about uh, voting absentee, you can go to the County Commission's website and there's a spot there that says election brochure and it gives you all the information you need to know about doing those things because we do have a write-in candidate this year. So uh, learn how to do that properly if you want to vote for that individual. Now, what we're going to do is today we have three automatic candidates for Tullahoma that we're going to have on the show, and we're going to start off first with Ashley Collinsworth Shockley. And Ashley, welcome to Insight. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here, and the first thing I want to do is thank you for your willingness to serve our community. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And uh, I want you to first tell us just a little bit about Ashley. Oh, about Ashley. Um, well, I moved here when I was six. Uh, my parents were looking for a better life for my brother and I. Um, we came from a small town in Louisiana and we didn't have as good as opportunities down there as we would here. Oh. And so we moved for good schools, more opportunities, and I was raised in Tullahoma. I was a very active member with First United Methodist Church. Um, I was with the Tullahoma Marching Band. I also was in the Aristocats Show Choir and just Pretty much anything to do with Tullahoma, I. <laughs> you were there. I was pretty much there, yeah. You were there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Well, one of the things I want to ask, because I've asked all the candidates this question. Mm -hmm. First question: I want you to define Tullahoma for me. What is your definition of Tullahoma, Tennessee? Oh, uh, I'm going to go with an easy and um, first thing that came to mind is its home. It's home to innovative minds. It's home to loving churches. It's home to uh, some of the most creative people you'll see. And uh, home to insanely gifted athletes. And <laughs> it's, it's home. I mean, what else can I say? <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good, that's a very good answer. Now, in, in your campaign, for aldermen, I'm sure you have ideas, a platform of sorts, into ways that you want to see our wonderful little town expand and grow properly into the future. Can you give us a little bit of insight on your thoughts yeah. about what needs to happen in Tullahoma over the next few years? Of course. Um, so, quick backstory. Um, my husband is retired from the Army now, and he retired in the end of 2016. And we chose to return back to Tullahoma because we wanted to give our kids the same opportunities that I had growing up. When we were in the process of moving, we found out that there weren't um, a lot of affordable housing options for us. Um, it was either we could buy a big expensive home or we could stay in a teeny tiny apartment. <laughs> so we ran into some challenges with that. Um, we did end up buying a home, but that is kind of what encouraged me to run and that is the start of my platform is we need more affordable home options. Um, and that could be anything from condos to um, even a, a tiny house community. Um, other cities have done that successfully and I don't see why we can't do that. I also believe that part of of making our homes more is we need <laughs> we need pedestrian safety through sidewalks and bike lanes. Uh, I don't see why there is a reason why we cannot anyone in Tullahoma doesn't have the opportunity to go anywhere they need to by bike bicycle or on foot and I think we can make that happen I know we can make that happen mm -hmm. 
So uh, sidewalks is, is a huge, I know everyone is always talking about sidewalks. Yes, yes. Yeah, so. And, and what, el what else are some of your passions that you would like to push forward uh, and expose in our town things that we need? Are there other things that you consider very important? I do. I think, again, when we were moving back, um, we had problems with my husband finding a job. Uh, he now works in Manchester. I, I believe we need to bring in more uh, industry into Tallahoma. Things that just aren't uh, just aren't retail and you know small business which I fully believe in small business I just believe we need something that can accommodate more people as well okay uh, and then I guess that would go to a, a next sort of a lead about we have TDAC which is our economic development committee and mm -hmm. it seems that uh, uh, a lot of people out there a lot of our audience thinks uh, that's all they're doing is bringing retail here mm -hmm. uh, what what would you what would you interject into that to help expedite manufacturing? Now I know I know in groups like that that when they're doing deals, you know, they really can't say anything about it. Yes. So they you know unless you're involved in government work right now, you know, there might be some stuff going on that none of us really know about because the the parties don't want anything said for fear of the deal going away. Mm -hmm. So uh, what what's your thoughts along those lines? Um, I'll give you a personal example. Um, so my husband works at Great Lakes Cheese in Manchester. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I forget who we were talking to, but they were talking about um, why Great Lakes chose Manchester when they could have chosen anywhere to go. And it all boiled down to what uh, the community could offer its employees. And so I think if we could offer more to industries coming in, then which goes back to affordable housing goes back to sidewalks and bike lanes and and because what do sidewalks and bike lanes do they keep people healthy they keep people moving uh what does affordable housing do brings more people in right, right. <laughs> and then they're going to need a job or or they get the job and they're going to need a house so i think that all ties right. together okay so uh we've had a few we've had a few discussions recently about uh, our our sports in town and uh, there's some things going on about the city possibly is starting some sports teams we've had little leagues here for a long time and and there's a, a process going on now to to build some of these children to play mm -hmm. and rent the fields to play and I know we've lost recently a couple of uh, uh, pretty good sized ball tournaments because of the cost of coming here and getting a field to play ball on, and they've gone to Winchester or somewhere else, you know, what what you have anything to interject into that process? Um, you know, quite honestly, I'm not. Um, it, it's been a while since I've been affiliated right, with sports right. here in Tullahoma, and my children, um, my oldest, are seven and nine, and just now getting into sports. So right. I, I'm kind of sitting on the outside of that right now. But well, I know for years, and like you said earlier, we have we have a lot of talented athletes that come from this town, and yeah. the reason is because they've been nurtured while they were here. Yes. And uh, I, I certainly, along with other people who have invested. Uh, individuals who have invested into our youth sports uh, certainly don't want to see it to where it depends on how much money you have to whether your kid can play ball or not oh yeah you know charging charging to play and charging for this and charging for that and uh, I just personally don't want to see that happen but I'm not sitting up there trying to balance a budget either Yes, and I see what you're saying. Uh, my very little experience with uh, Tullahoma Athletics currently is um, my son has been in soccer, and so far we, we've had a great experience with um, with the cost. We we've, have found it to be very cost friendly, and uh, his friends that may not be able to afford it, their families could not. Um, the the organization was always able to help them in some way. Yes. But that's that is a, an organization, a volunteer organization, not a city-sponsored organization. Okay. Most likely, most likely. So what else? What else do you want to see happen? If you're if you're an alderman, is that right or is it alder person? Well, I personally prefer the term alder woman. <laughs> 
But um, I'm married to one of them. No, that's <laughs> older. That's an older woman. Excuse me. Excuse me, dear. Um, <laughs> I, I've only had like two people say older woman, so uh -huh. I just go with alderman and yeah. and okay. I go. What with else it. you want to see happen? What would what would you make happen to make a change? Make a change for me, right? Let those people make a change for them. <laughs> make a change. Um, let's see. I I would like to see more involvement with our park system, not 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 the team of park people, but the our community as a whole get more involved. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. It does. Yeah, um, we've come from um, being military. We lived all over the place, and we came from some communities that everyone would get out, and it's kind of like our big Fourth of July celebration. Except they did that regularly, and it wasn't always something to celebrate. It was just, you know, we're a community. Yeah, <laughs> we're a community, and we we want to be together. We want to meet new people, and we want to know what's going on on this side of the town, that side of the town. Well, in my case, it was like this side of the post, that side of the post, but, it, yeah, yes. but, but everyone, um, it, it brought the community together. And I'd, mm -hmm. like, I'd like to see more of that. We have the resources and we have the people wanting to be a part of something more. And I think, I think that'd be great. Well, that's good, that's good. Do you think we have, a, do you think we have enough retail here? Or do you think we need um, to bring more stuff? I think we need more clothing stores. Honestly, as a mom, it's very difficult to find clothes that fit my kids. Um, I'm sure other moms can really relate with that. And I do think we need more clothing. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yeah. So, anything else? You're selling. Uh, I'm selling. You're selling. <laughs> um, I just know that when I have passion for something, I'm kind of like a dog with a bone. There you go. I, I, I don't let it go. And... If it involves helping people, then then I can really get on some people's okay. nerves. <laughs> but I mean, I'm I'm here, I'm here. Okay. And I'm ready. All right. So yeah. what we'll do right now, Ashley Shockley, right here, she'll mm -hmm. be back a little later on in the show to give you a pitch on why you need to vote for her. Right now, we'll take a quick commercial break, and then we'll bring our next candidate up. Hello, I'm Ray Nois. This is a critical time in Tullahoma. On August the 6th, voters will have an opportunity to elect a new mayor, one who can provide proven, experienced leadership, one who knows how to get things done and keep Tullahoma moving. I recognize the value of Tullahoma's excellent school system. Our system is recognized as one of the best in the state, and I'll ensure that our schools continue at that level. I will not vote to raise property taxes in order to have a balanced budget until all other options have been exhausted. I'll work closely with our city staff to ensure that my physically conservative values are incorporated. I've served on all city boards involved in economic development. I see that as a way that we can broaden our tax base and avoid a property tax rate increase. Some developers have had issues with their planning and codes department. I'll commit to these improvements. There'll be consistency in the instructions from planning and codes without changes from day to day. And there'll be predictable timelines for providing delivery dates for plan reviews, permits, and inspections. Timelines that will be met reliably. Now while we can't do much about the traffic on 41A and 55, we can improve our local streets and sidewalks. And this I commit to do. So I ask for your vote for proven, experienced leadership. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back and we are with the second aldermatic candidate for the city of Tillahoma, sitting alderman, uh, Robin Dunn, who is in finished just finished up your first term as alderman yes. and have 
cut through it with a with a clean swath and got, accomplished a lot of things. Yes. Give our uh, because there might be some new people who've shown sure. up around here. Look out there and tell tell our audience a little bit about Robin Don. Sure. Well, I grew up in Tullahoma. Uh, my dad was stationed here whenever I went into second grade. So, I've grown up in Tullahoma for many years, right? Uh, I went to UT after I graduated from Tullahoma High School and while I was in Knoxville I met my husband Josh and we moved back about nine years ago and we've got three wild children and they're a lot of fun they keep me busy so I've been... I see a gray streak showing up. Well actually you know who should claim this this should be the class of 2005 2006 so i taught for 13 years in public schools okay. and, and uh, I, I enjoyed it so much but uh, right now i've got a tutoring business and that's been really nice because i've been able to spend more time with my family and Good for it's, you. It's, it's been awesome been so Good fun for you. so fun okay i'm going to ask you the question sure i'm ready we inquiring minds want to know okay your definition of Telahoma. What is Telahoma? Okay. Well, I've got I've got a twofold answer. The first one is risk takers. So when this uh, when this city was founded, however many years ago, several hundred. What was it? One hundred and fifty. Something like yeah. that. At least. So I mean, our biggest. There is no occupation more risky than than agriculture. So, I mean, I come from a long line of, of family farmers and, and it's risky. You know, 150 years ago, if you were, if you were raising a farm, there wasn't anything to, to bail you out or to help you. It, it was, it, if you lost your crop, that was it. So that, and we've, we've continued that tradition. We've got, we've definitely had huge influence from military. Uh, and so we, we are risk takers. And I think our latest chapter in risk takers in Tullahoma is our entrepreneur spirit. We've got a company in town that's got a flagpole that they put on the moon. We've got a company in town that is building mining equipment for asteroids. We have people who are taking risks as entrepreneurs and as the city of Tullahoma, we're, we're teaming up with Motlow, we're play, teaming up with TVA to try to help encourage people who are wanting to take that leap of faith and, and follow their passion, help them walk through that. Right now you can go to Motlow and you can take a class on how to, how to set up a, a, an internet site. Like, you know, if your passion is mowing lawns or your passion is, is, is getting into cars and, and being a mechanic, you don't, you don't have time to learn how to use WordPress. So they'll walk you through that and, and get you, you know, you've got your website ready to go so that you can reach more customers and, and continue to, to grow your business. Right, right. And I think I'll speak for my husband right now. Um, you know, that's going to be a major reason why we're going to be able to grow our economy in Tullahoma is we want we want mom and pop shops. We want people starting in their basement to be able to hire other people to, to work with them. So my husband has hired uh, not too long ago one of my former students who is helping him and my husband has a lawn care business. Right. And what's really exciting about this is to see him, you know, he he drove down the street just the other day and and his his helper said, hey, I bought this new truck because I'm, I'm be, I'll, through working with you, I'll be able to make this payment. Right. So that's economy right there. Sure. And so I love that Tullahoma, we, we are very self-sufficient in that manner. And, and that's why our economy has still, even though all, whatever's happening in all over the world, we're doing much better than most. So, this, so we're risk takers. The second thing we are, we're volunteers. And of course, we got that nickname from the Alamo. Oh, so yeah. we've owned that for a long time too. And of course, again, we've, we, we're a, a military town. We've answered the call um, uh, in that way. But in, in more recent ways, you know, I mean, I don't know how many millions of dollars in service people have put into this community because they want to read to kids at school. They want to go to nursing homes and help there. You know, that, that, uh, the rain garden that we uh, planted the other day, it, the only thing that was paid for was, was the plants. Everything else, everything else was volunteers. Whether it was, we had experts from the University of Tennessee came in and told us how we needed to get set up. We had people from local gardening clubs designed it out. We had 
we had a you know a dozen volunteers in there with shovels and and all that I, I mean that could not have happened on the budget that that I had to work with right. so it was all on volunteers so that's Tullahoma we're volunteers yeah. and we're risk takers so got a whole lot of nonprofit going on around yes, here we do. Don't we? yes all we right do. my second question is Alderman Dunn yes what what goals and what things do you have planned to to expand your definition of telehoma and see it grow in the proper direction in the future sure well i think i'll i'll definitely be working alongside the the volunteers of the go green group we'll we'll continue to to make changes there we've already got some exciting things going on as far as um, things that that i'd like to see happen with with water purification i would love to see blue creek and rock creek come off of the um, at risk streams of Tennessee list. I would love to see that happen. There's some very cost of effective ways that we can do that, that we're investigating right now. So that's one thing for sure. The other thing, I, I think the Mayans knew it, the Romans knew it, the Egyptians <laughs> knew it. If we want commerce in Tullahoma, we have to have an infrastructure, a physical infrastructure. Our, our roads and our sidewalks need attention. That's something I, we, we must, we must concentrate on that. Okay. So. We've done we've done well with our school system. I, and yeah, that's why I didn't it, even it, mention it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, well, it's a crown it's, it's a crown just, jewel, and yes. there's some things we need to make sure that that don't disintegrate or deteriorate. Sure. Sure. But uh, the sidewalks and the roads and uh, is very very much. Now you're talking about some things that you've been involved in, sure. and I want to uh, give you a accommodation for taking some of the things that have been handed to you and uh, to research and see if you could go forward with and turn them into successful endeavors as an alderman. And I think you're to be congratulated for that. What are some other things? Uh, what, what's your opinion on, you know, you're talking about bringing people in mm -hmm. and we've got TDAC and TDACs to bring, sure. to bring industry and we're spending a lot of time on retail mm -hmm. and go green and get fit and all this other stuff. What do you think about how we need to be doing on that? Or are we doing it, are we doing the first things we need to do first? And that's mm -hmm. build a nest for these people to be comfortable when they come. Sure, um, I think you're right. I mean, we we have so many programs and activities and ways that people can be social with one another. We've got ways that people can be social with one another online. We've got a volunteer, uh, Lee Fogel, set up a, 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 an online community called We Are Tullahoma, and people have been able to find information on there. And I mean, that that is all established. So I feel like Tullahoma, in a lot of ways, as far as connecting with one another, we're, we're doing very well in, in that. Um, and I'll just go back to, to the same thing. I think if we're going to you know, have places you know, but to feather the nest, we we need we need roads and sidewalks that are going to do that and 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 you know industries are looking certainly beyond that they're definitely they've got a magnifying glass on our our, our school system they want to see that the children that are coming out of Tullahoma City Schools are are well educated and, and ready for the workforce um, we've got a community college just down the road that it, it was unheard of five years ago but now we've had several students who have graduated with their associate's degrees before they got their diploma. So, I mean, our, our students are, are That would moving. be a diploma from high school. Correct, yes, that's what I mean, yes. Our, our, we've got Tullahoma High School students who are graduating, graduating with their associate's degree from Motlow because they've, they've got so many dual credits. Right. So, I mean, we do have a lot of resources here. We've got things for, for young families to do. Um, we've, got, we've got things for, for people who are older to do as well. Our Senior Citizen Center uh, is, is bumping all the time. So I'm, I'm really glad that we have so many different activities. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm involved in the cultural side and the creative mm -hmm. side, and yeah. our creative side of Tullahoma has always been very strong. Mm -hmm. And that, that's something else that I think we need to make sure that we don't let that fade because these people who can live anywhere in the world want their children to be educated properly and they want culture. 
They do. They want art for them to see and they want stage for them to be on and science for them to learn. So we need to make sure that those things remain strong. Absolutely. Strong. And what's your opinion about how much should a kid have to pay to play ball? <sighs> well, <laughs> well I, I will speak a little to that. Um, I know that that, that that particular thing has gotten a lot of attention lately. I believe our, our um, Parks and Recreation Director brought a blanket um, contract that was written up by the city of Murfreesboro right. to the Board of Mayor and Aldermen. It was not, it was just a, a draft. There was nothing on there that he was saying. A worksheet. We it was. It was like, here's an example of what other people are doing. Okay. Um, and so I think that that became misinterpreted how yeah, it was I, expected I do to do I do um, so I think what he was drawing attention to and and I he is not here so you know no, uh, but, uh, but I'm just saying that that uh, I think what he was trying to draw attention to was there was a written contract between the people of Murfreesboro and and those who were, were utilizing the fields. I think for a long time, Tullahoma has traditionally done things orally. Hey, you do this, you do that. Right, I'll, right. I'll mow it this time, you mow it that time, I'll pick up trash or whatever. And so as, as busy as we're getting, I think there were some things lost in the shuffle. And so I think having something, anything on paper is going to help uh, with disagreements and, and misunderstandings. So I, I think what, what is, is happening now is the Parks and Recreation Department and some of these more established leagues are sitting down and they're talking about what has already taken place right. and just writing it down yeah. so that okay. people are getting a better idea of what's really happening. So Very well. Yeah. So good for you. Thank you. And yes, you will sir. be back in a little bit sure. to give your pitch to the citizens of our wonderful town on why they should vote for Robin Dunn. Okay. Right now we'll take another quick Thanks. commercial break and be back with our final automatic candidate. We're losing it, Doctor! Not on my shift, quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation! It's gonna be okay! Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor, Stat. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. It's a Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at tennesseetrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. Get your news first, fast, and free with your News Leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with News Leader on Channel 6, your local information network. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with Insight, and now we're going to get some insight into the third automatic candidate, Jenna Amacher, and she's with us today. And good day, ma'am. Thank you Hi. for being here. Thank you for having me. And I'll ask you the same question. Okay. What is your definition of Tullahoma? Well, I believe that we are a uh, small, homegrown community born from the railroad. Um, we are known as Tennessee's rising star. Um, I believe that uh, we are um, 
micropolitan area that's been ranked very high in entrepreneurial ability. Um, and you know, we have the best of all the worlds. We have the distilleries close by, the lakes, the natural areas, the parks, the great school system. Um, Telehome is a great place to live and work. Okay, and if you're elected alderman, what what are some of the key issues that you have or the key the 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 the, the planks in your platform that you want to drive home into our hometown to make it expand and grow in a positive and in a better way? Well, so the biggest thing that I'm running on is fiscal conservatism and uh, you know, or more or less fiscal responsibility. So as an alderman, we're very limited in a lot of the decisions that we get to make. You know, we're a legislative body. Um, we do get to appoint to some boards, but um, all in all, um, we get to decide how your tax dollars are spent. And I believe that, you know, we have to make sure that we are making decisions um, that are in the best interest of the entire community and not just a faction or for the time being. I do believe we do need to get out of the grant mentality somewhat of, okay, we have a grant for this, let's do it. And, and at that time, we're not thinking about um, the long-term aspects of maintenance um, post-expenditure um, and post-grant uh, that we're gonna have to keep up with. And so as your alderman, I really just want to make sure that your tax dollars are being uh, spent effectively. Um, we do have a city administrator who does manage the day-to-day -day affairs of, uh, of the uh, city and the city administrator obviously does report to the board and is hired you know, by the board. Um, and I do think that there is a place for the public to come to the board and the aldermen need to be a conduit for the everyday citizens' concerns. Um, but we as aldermen need to be in talks uh, with the city administrator making sure that the citizens' wishes are being done um, and that we're, we are also making it a fair playing field and we're enticing investors and we're enticing developers to continue and to stay uh, doing business here in Tullahoma. Okay, so you're, you're, you're saying enticing investors and developers, and that gets us to uh, the hot button that's been discussed quite a bit recently, and that's the Planning Commission and the uh, Codes and Codes Department. Yes. And uh, what do you think about how the way that's gone, and what do you think needs to happen there to make it smoother? Because I heard a builder say that recently, you know, you shouldn't have to beg to build somewhere. Right. Absolutely, and I've heard the same uh, types of complaints from more than one individual. Um, I do believe that, you know, the city needs to be a supporter of our uh, developers and especially industrial suitors, but also our, our residential developers. Um, the more places that we have, nice places to live, that brings in uh, newer people to come in, which could also in, entice you know newer businesses and and further um, entrepreneurs. And you know, we should not make it harder for them to do their job. Um, that's not the city's place. Um, so we definitely need to make sure that the rules are in place and that they, there's one set of rules and that uh, they are um, not arbitrary and egregious and that they're made with common sense and that Good they, <laughs> yes, and that they apply to everyone um, and, uh, you know, we're not picking and choosing how, uh, who gets to do what, where, how, and when. Okay. Do you think uh, then... And, and, and with that, uh, of course, it's, you know, a lot of times, and I've built a lot of things, and I've built a lot of restaurants and stuff, and, you know, the, the cost of construction loan money is huge, and a lot of these industries and businesses come in and they say, okay, I need this in nine months. Mm -hmm. If I can't get it in nine months, I ain't, I'm not coming. Right. And it's very hard in our town to fast that's a fast track in this mm -hmm. town and when in a lot of towns it's just normal business so that right. that stuff's got to be tightened up well it definitely shouldn't be um it should not be the city's responsibility to inhibit or slow up these contracts we definitely don't want to get in the way of people doing business now we do also you know have an interest in public safety oh, that's, and that's we want to make sure that things are up to code and things sure. are the way that they need to be 
Um, but we have to make sure that, that, you know, we're here to work for the citizens and we're here to make sure um, that they have what they need and that we're coming out when we say we're coming out and that, you know, we are not uh, making up the rules as we go um, and, and creating, basically creating a, a way for uh, those individuals to continue to do their business. We need to make sure that we are um, promoting those businesses. So. Okay, very good. Do you think? Do you think that we? Where do you think we are in the in the in the uh, inviting people in and, and trying to sell people to Tullahoma in the in the uh, the industrial uh, manufacturing versus sales and soft side stuff? Where you know where are we there? Well, so I think that as a um, retail suitor we're doing pretty well um, I think we have lots of opportunities for retails but at the same time I don't believe that that's really what we need to be focused on um, I think that yes you know it'd be nice to have some some new clothing shops and things but honestly I'm looking at the job aspect and um, we need more places to work in Tullahoma that provide livable wages. And I'm sorry, but minimum wage are not those livable wages. We are nestled in an area between uh, Motlow and UTSI and Arnold Air Force Base and, and a retirement community mixed in that we have plenty of skilled workers, but they have nowhere to go to work. And so I think our, our biggest uh, priority right now is to attract those industrial suitors or those those businesses that can come in and provide those livable wages right. and not so much focus on retail opportunities. Okay, and what do you think about the sports aspect of town? Okay, so the sports Ball aspect, fields yes. and ball games and little yes. people selling candy bars. Right, so I will say this, Parks and Rec uh, does a great job with uh, yes, what do. they have uh, to manage. They have a whole lot to manage if you mm -hmm. look at the size of our town and the number of parks that we have. Um, and I think that we're down to like three workers within Parks and, and I mean, those guys really kill themselves trying, you know, to keep up and maintain. But if you look at it, you know, our dugouts are outdated, um, our bathrooms at the parks are outdated. Um, and, you know, we are, um, you know, I think we charge a, a nominal fee to play Little League, um, but I think we may have outpriced ourselves when it comes to attracting some of the bigger leagues and um, for the, the tournaments that for travel ball. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I honestly think that maybe it's time for the city to get out of uh, the, the tournament business or the little league business. Um, and we should maybe try to entice uh, some private investors and suitors to create their own sports complexes um, and then that brings in more tourism and industry you know to Tullahoma and creates jobs so I think that definitely you know you have to you have to look at the city planning side of this right. um, and also look at your cost versus utilities what are we spending on these parks to maintain them um, versus what are we getting out of them so I'm not sure that they're um, creating enough money for us to be spending the kind of money that we're spending on them. That's, that's though, in a way, that's, uh, you know, there are private people who invest greatly yes. in, those, in those leagues and in that stuff. And, and uh, I, to, me, to me, as an individual, uh, my taxes, I, I deserve to have a park I can go walk in. I don't, they, they shouldn't have to generate income. Right. That should be that should be part of the amenities of, of my town mm -hmm. is, yes. is having that. And and it does get to a point to just how much can you spend? Right. You know, Absolutely. Uh, we got a, a big grant for a park out on uh, uh, East Lincoln mm -hmm. out there. And of course, it hasn't opened. They haven't done anything yet. I don't know if they started on that yet. Right. But uh, and, you know, I think that's, parks, there's nothing on that side of town. Right. Parks are great for aesthetics. Um, but if the park can't draw in any tourism or industry or revenue, then, you know, I think the money, like all the other candidates have been saying before me, that money might be better spent on sidewalks. Um, because I do agree with the other candidates as where I, th I think everybody's on the same page as that is, is we need uh, more sidewalks and, um, you know, pedestrian walkways where people can, you know, have bike lanes and, and go throughout. Tell them small enough. We don't have a school bus system. Our children need to be able to walk to school and get there safely. So okay. um, I think that the priority should be more on the sidewalks rather than uh, you know, more park expenditures. 
Okay. And so the kid who doesn't have a place to play. Well, we do have parks. And so yeah. we are already, you know, struggling to maintain the parks that we have. Like I said, with yeah, the okay. outdated, you okay. know, facilities yeah. and things that right. we have like okay. that. Um, so like I said, I think, you know, Tullahoma is big enough. Um, and we have some, we have a great school system. Um, we really should be a hotbed for private suitors and we should have people knocking down our door to get in here and it's problems within our uh, city's infrastructure and some of the planning and codes and, right. and some of the um, rules that we have and the taxation policies we're not doing enough to entice uh, those suitors to us we're not bringing yeah. them in and there's more that we can do and policies that we can uh, make and deregulation uh, to to bring those to us and, and another thing is is defining the problems right and defining mm -hmm. the problems and then when you define the problems find the people who can solve the problems right. not just hand it over to somebody because they're already there right so comprehensive you know management and growth management thinking about go. the long term um, you know creating a deliberate plan of action um, smart goals specific measurable um, those that are achievable and uh, relevant and time-based right. you know so th we we must have a, a deliberate plan and not just a let's squirrel because we got a grant over here there and not go. think about things past just putting that park or that amenity in yeah it okay. may seem okay right now um, but if we're not really thinking about and planning for the long term and how we're going to keep up with the infrastructure that we already have and it's dilapidating then okay. you know we're just creating more to take care of there so let's go. make sure that we can take care of what we have now um, before we add, you, you know, further. All right. That's Jenna Amacher, and she'll be back to ask for your vote in a minute. After we take a quick commercial break, we're going to bring all three of our very, very good automatic candidates back up, and they're going to ask you to vote for them. We'll be right back. Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor, Stat. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. It's a Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at tennesseetrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. Get your news first, fast, and free with your News Leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with News Leader on Channel 6, your local information network. All right, folks, we're back with our automatic candidates for the city of Tullahoma. And right now we have back on the stage uh, Ashley Collinsworth Shockley running for one of these two seats. There's three young ladies running for two seats. And Ashley, there's your window to the world right there. You <laughs> tell those people out there why they want to vote for you. So I'm cooking dinner several nights ago, or several months ago, I'm cooking dinner, and my husband works second shift. So from three o'clock on, it's me and my three children. They're two, seven, and nine. This was shortly after uh, COVID hit and the school stayed home and we were 
homeschooling. <laughs> so it had been a very long day and I'm cooking dinner, trying to keep myself together. And my son, he's the seven year old, he was um, singing and dancing very loudly in the room over. My two year old um, had stripped naked and was running through the kitchen. And I'm thinking, okay, day's almost over. <laughs> We're almost done. My nine year old daughter walks in and she goes, mommy, you should be president because you can handle so much. And, <laughs> and I thought to myself, well, wow, she's got a lot of <laughs> faith in me. And I got to thinking, and that's when I decided I was gonna run for alderman. And as my nine-year-old will tell you, um, mommies do it all. They, they cook, they clean, and they keep everyone together, and they're there for you when you need them. They can balance budgets, they can keep people together, and they can bring people together. So I, I think being a mom and being a part of this community for so long, um, I think that's why you should vote for me. All right, yeah. Ashley Collinsworth Shockley. <laughs> we'll be right back with Robin Dunn. My name is Robin Dunn and I've been serving as your alderman for the past three years. I'd like to ask for your vote today because the next three years are going to be even better. We're going to be building more sidewalks and repaving more roads and building more relationships. And I'm going to be working for you. All right. That's Robin Dunn right there. She's, she's quick and to the point. She wants you vote for Alderman. <laughs> All right. Now let's get Jenna Almacher back up here. Okay, hi, I'm Jenna Almacher, and I'm running for alderman here in Tallahoma. So a lot of people have asked me about my signs and said, oh, I love your sign, I love your sign. And, you know, it, it does look like a sunrise because I do believe that it is time for a new generation of conservative leaders to emerge. We, knew, we need new uh, faces, we need accountability, um, and we need accessibility. And, it, you know, it's a new dawn, um, an uprise, a sunrise. Um, you know, I'm a pro-business conservative, um, I believe. Um, in limited government. I believe in lower taxes. Um, I'm a constitutionalist. Um, and my degree, honestly, was just tailored to run for government. Um, I, have a, I have my Doctor of Jurisprudence from Nashville School of Law, graduated in 2015, and prior to that I have a, a degree from MTSU, a bachelor's in political science with an emphasis in public administration with minors in sociology, economics, and secondary education. So I, I try not to talk a lot about my, my background or my education, um, but it is important. Um, I, have, I have the background, I have the education, I come from a family of small business owners um, that are here local. Um, my grandfather found, uh, founded American City Bank, was one of the original founders. Um, we worked and helped build part of the base. Um, my grandfather built uh, a part, the two bowling alleys here in, in Shelbyville. And um, so I have roots here and I believe it's my turn to give back to the community that cultivated my skills and talents. So please vote for me. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, she she hollered out, please vote for me at the end. You know, you have three wonderful candidates to choose from for automatic seats, two seats. And again, we'll remind you that the election is August 6th. Early voting starts uh, July the 17th through August the 1st. You can vote at CD Stamps or the Administrative Building in Manchester. And uh, we have, uh, let's see, Monday through Friday. Uh, it's Tullahoma, it's 9 to 4.30, Manchester, it's 8 to 4.30. So we thank you for watching Insight. Look for us again to bring some information to you, get to maybe give you a little bit of insight on things you should know to be a good citizen in Tullahoma, Tennessee. We'll see you next time.